welcome back thank you all so much for visiting my channel if this is your first time thank you again for coming i hope you all can stay here for a little while kick your shoes off get comfortable look at some of my other videos and enjoy yourself and while you're here make sure you subscribe so if you're new here we're on our new home journey chateau de more and um we just recently had our contract appointment to prepare for our contract appointment i came up with a whole bunch of different questions of different things that i wanted to have included in our home my in my last video i was able to go over different things that you should um consider when you're preparing to buy a new house and if you're getting it built however just recently we were able to go on our contract appointment in the neighborhood that we have chosen they had been on the pause for a while but they finally brought things back they're now releasing new homes and new lots and we just recently went to our contract appointment where we were able to select different structural options if this is something that you are interested in and will continue to be interested in our new journey please stick around okay let's get into it I had a list of questions and options that I um, wanted to ask about when we got to our contract appointment. I have my paper here for my notes so I won't miss anything for you all. Questions that I brought to the appointment were, what is the time frame of completion? Is the lot that we choose, whatever lot that we choose, will it be on a high impact lot? A high impact lot is considered a lot where any part of your house is visible from the main street so if the side of your house the front of your house or the back of your house can be seen by cars that are driving past the neighborhood then that's considered a high impact lot and a lot of times different builders charge a higher price for those lots where they are visible one because it's a house that adds to the beautification of the neighborhood in itself and so there are a lot of things that have to be done with that house to make sure that from the outside looking in the neighborhood always looks perfect and looks in good shape that was one thing that i inquired about i wanted to know about the lot premiums and lot premiums are additional charges on top of the high impact lot cost um, and lot premiums are based on the size of the lot location of the lot whether it's in you know on the, on the main strip of the neighborhood if it's in a cul-de-sac or if it's if the back of the lot is you know just trees and forest or just different things that people would use as extra security or um, privacy on a lot those are things that are considered when you're choosing the location of the lot and the orientation whether or not your house will be facing north south east or west and i actually just made a post on chateau de more instagram page about the importance of orientation so make sure you check that out i'll put a screenshot of it right here so if you are interested in that information make sure you check out that post i asked about incentives if you use the lender or the mortgage company that they prefer, that the builder prefers, then sometimes they will give you help towards your closing costs, your down payment, or you know, whatever. There are different things that they, that they will offer you in order to encourage you to use their lender. I do know that using this particular builder, they assist with credits in the design center, so free money that goes towards the design center, and they assist with closing costs. Um, I also wanted to know whether or not we were allowed to have a deck in our backyard. I know sometimes, depending on the size of the lot or just the community itself, they may or may not allow you to have decks in your backyard. So that was something that I wanted to know. I wanted us to have the alternate upstairs for this particular model. I already knew what model I wanted to go with with this builder. However, the particular model offers two options for the upstairs, mainly uh, with the owner's suite. So I will show you a picture, well both pictures right here that shows the standard layout of the upstairs and then the alternate layout of the upstairs and we definitely wanted to go with the alternate layout of the upstairs i also wanted to have taller a taller ceiling height i believe the standard ceiling height is eight feet tall but i wanted us to have taller ceiling heights i know i've seen a lot of other videos on youtube where people have nine feet or ten foot ceilings and I just wanted to know if that was something that they offered. If so, we definitely wanted to have that. 
and I also wanted to know whether or not landscaping was included with our home. I've seen where some builders, they'll build your house, but they won't give you any type of landscape. You'll walk up to a house that has dirt laid out for the front yard and the backyard. So I wanted to know whether or not those things were included. I did a short little vlog. I brought you all along with me to go to this uh, contract appointment. So you'll be able to see little snippets of me talking to the sales manager. I brought my realtor. Brandon was not able to come with me on that particular day, but he was definitely a part of the process. We had an in-depth conversation before the appointment. So we already knew what we wanted beforehand. We just needed to make it happen. Also, while on that contract appointment, the appointment actually was held in one of the model homes. The model home that the meeting was held in is not the model that we chose. However, it is very similar. You won't be able to get to see our model until you see it actually progress and being built. And then eventually we'll have our empty house tour and you'll be able to see the exact layout and how beautiful we were able to design our home. But I hope you all are able to enjoy the visuals of the model home. Like I said, it is very similar to our layout, but it's not quite the same. So here's the video. Okay, well, last month we got an email saying that they would be releasing new sections very soon, whatever that means. And very soon has now come. So today, um, I'm just by myself today. Brandon wasn't able to uh, um, accompany me today, but going to I guess the initiating um, appointment I'm not sure when we will have I guess the contract signing appointment but today we will finally go to the builder that we initially wanted that we were initially pre-approved for back in March we will um, get information about what they have to offer and I guess the logistics of this new community that we've been waiting to be a part of for a long long time so I will let you all know what I learned, what I find out, what the next steps are. And I don't know if I'll be able to bring you all in with me, but I shall see. All right, you guys. See you later and wish us luck. All right, you guys. We're about to start. Um, the sales associate is very, very excited. She even wants to be included in the process or in the video. <laughs> but I'm going to give you all a quick look around the model home of this particular neighborhood real quick. Okay, that's it for right now. I'm sure um, we will be able to do a full tour of this particular model um this is one of two choices so i will be back soon so now they're working on a lesser um a less amount of staff right things are slowing down all of that right right again i think we outsold the pace of what was expected mm -hmm. and because of that the developer um, was not ready um, in order for the
All right, you guys, so you were able to see we had our contract appointment. It was very, very informative. It was very important. Um, it was exciting because we've been waiting for this moment for the longest and we were finally able to make it happen and it has finally come to fruition. So I just want to go over some things to let you know what we were able to choose once we got to that contract appointment. All right, we were able to choose our model. And like I said, we already knew what model we wanted. We were able to choose the elevation of that model. Basically the elevation is the outside appearance of the house, whether or not sometimes you can have all siding. Some models come with brick. Some models come with stone or the combination of all of that. So we, we were just basically able to choose our elevation. We um, were able to add on a morning room. If you've seen my last video, you knew that that was something that I definitely wanted. Like I said, that is my place of zen, or that will be my place of zen. And I can't wait to decorate it and show it off. <laughs> um, we were able to choose Oakwood Staircase, Gourmet Kitchen, a study, which will be my office, a fireplace in the family room, Butler's Pantry, additional bathroom upstairs, so we'll have four bedrooms upstairs including our owner suite however one of those secondary bedrooms will have an additional bathroom that's considered an ensuite so we were able to add that onto our structural options um as i said we wanted the alternate upstairs layout and with that alternate upstairs layout it includes a different layout for um, the look of the bedroom, the closets, instead of having one huge closet, we'll have two separate closets and the layout of the bathroom. We were able to choose or opt for the box tray ceiling in our bedroom. We were able to get nine foot ceilings and that is, we, we were able to choose that for above the basement and in the basement. We opted to get the HVAC zone control and that's basically being able to have two thermostats, one upstairs and one downstairs. That way we'll be able to control the temperature in the house from the upstairs and downstairs and that also will help with energy efficiency with having the HVAC zone control instead of one system trying to cool off or heat off the entire house and this is not going to be a, a small house just so you all know instead of having to worry about the one system driving up your bill and trying to heat off or cool off the whole house there will be two separate systems and that will ensure that that the temperature is well controlled we were also able to have a walk out from our basement that means that the basement will be above ground we won't have to worry about walking up any steps 
um, to get to the backyard. Another benefit of having the walkout is that with having those steps, although I mean there's nothing wrong with having them, but it will take away from your backyard space um, given that the steps have to come away from the house, whether it's a uh, parallel, which means that it's aligned with the back of the house, or if it's um, perpendicular, which is going away from the house out straight into the backyard. So we were able to have a walkout, which means as soon as we walk out from the basement, we're already be on flat ground. We won't have to worry about walking up any steps. And with the basement, we decided to not finish our basement with the builder. We were able to find us an outside contractor who will be able to design our basement a little bit more customized than what the builder will have you know sometimes the builder will have their own way of laying out the space downstairs in the basement however when we have our own contractor design it we will be able to design it exactly like how we want it and not a standardized look for the basement since we opted to have the basement unfinished we were also able to add on a rough in for the wet bar we will have a wet bar downstairs but since we're not having it finished they will just include the plumbing parts so that way we can have the wet bar in the future with the outside contractor okay you guys thank you all so much for sticking with me and i hope you all were able to learn or take some things down as notes with if you are in this position if you are on this journey if you are considering buying a house or having a house built or if you are about to go to your contract appointment i hope you all have learned something and thank you all again make sure you all share this information share this video with someone who you think may be interested thank you all so much for subscribing make sure you all follow our instagram page at chateau de more we will be giving you day-to-day -day insight on what's going on in addition to our weekly videos i will be posting about three times a week on the Chateau de More Instagram page so I hope you all follow that so you don't miss anything. Alright you guys, thank you again so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! <laughs> may not be able to <laughs> Sorry you guys my husband just definitely stepped in and did too much but anyways <laughs>